Okay, today I'm going to go over the sissy squat, or at least the version that I like to do. And this is a version of the sissy squat that I've been doing for a number of years. And it's a nice exercise to pre-fatigue before you do the regular squat, or really to finish off this, you know, the quad workout. Uh, a couple other things to keep in mind, just doing high reps may be enough. If you need added resistance, I prefer at least what I have, I use chains, I wrap around my neck doing the exercise to add the 20 to 30 pounds resistance. Or another simple way, if you don't feel like going out and buying chains, is to get a backpack and you can just throw 5 pound plates, 10 pound plates, you know, if you have an old beat up backpack or you can find an inexpensive one for like $20 and you can use it for other, other movements also. The way that I, you know, the one way that you see the sissy squat a lot is if you use a pole or something, you're balancing with one hand and you're holding on with the other. If you have any resistance, then you're up on your toes. And the angle I just don't like because I think it puts too much pressure on your knees and you're leaning back and so on and so forth. So what I like to do is a more stable version. And I'll use an old belt or you can use an old towel. And you're doing a squat and you're going to keep your feet flat to the ground. I like taking a closer to the shoulder width position, my feet are flat to the ground, I'm holding the belt or the, or the towel around waist height, and I'm sitting back, so when I'm squatting down, it's perpendicular of my knee to the floor. So the resistance is through the toes, but it's easier on your knees instead of lifting up on your heels and then leaning back. So to complete the exercise, you're pretty close to the pole, feet are flat, you're going to sit back, and then rock yourself up without locking out. You want to keep your knees slightly bent. And it's a little bit faster tempo. You know, you're going down slow, squeezing it up, and thinking about actually flexing the quads as you come up. So it's down slow and arcing it back up. You know, keep the tempo. And when I usually do this exercise, I like to do the higher reps, the 15 rep, the 20 rep scheme. And if that's too easy, then you can have resistance through chains or a backpack. So it's real simple. It can be done pretty much anywhere. It's a great finisher. This is the sissy squat that I always prescribe that you'll see in my routine. It's right here. So you're leaning back all the way down, keeping the knee to the floor perpendicular. So I hope that helps. Thanks.